studio tonight. Ian, you talked with both commissioner candidates. That's right, Todd. Incumbent, incumbent Patricia Miller and her challenger, Donis Wilson, are looking for your vote for McLennan County Precinct 2 Commissioner. The two challenged each other in 2018 for the seat and now looking to face off again with different issues they want to address. McLennan County Commissioner Precinct 2 is home to the lowest median salary in the county. Incumbent Patricia Miller says this is one of the issues she wants to tackle if re-elected. So one of my struggles is to ensure that quality jobs are coming into that area, that those individuals have access to quality, affordable health care. Challenger Donis Wilson plans to tackle the issues many people have in the more rural parts of Precinct 2. Roads and bridges. They're the, they're the worst shape in McLennan County, and if you want to go drive out on those roads, you can see what I'm talking about. Other concerns they shared was the economic development in Precinct 2. Jobs, uh, that's what we need to do. We, you know, McLennan County is a commissioner's court. They can cut taxes and give big companies incentives to come to McLennan County, and all of McLennan County, East Waco, North Waco, South Waco. The development and creation of our wind farms, those uh, businesses have really helped to undergird our smaller uh, school districts out in the rural areas, our smaller communities. Both candidates shared why you should give them your vote. In North Waco and South Waco, they're not need to be left out, but the rural area is the main part that's being left out. You know, and you're not a city councilman or councilwoman, you're a county commissioner, and that means all of Precinct 2 needs to be taken care of. And I continue to address the uh, road and bridge concerns in Precinct 2 while also being able to address the income uh, disparity that plagues all of Precinct 2. Election Day is next Tuesday, November 8th. Early voting happening now until Friday. Ian Chris, 25 News. All right, Ian. Now